Hello YouTubers, I'm making a video today mostly in response to another one that I watched a while back about starting a three-phase motor generator or idler motor. I just want to show in this video the simplicity of putting together a capacitor start circuit, a semi-automatic one, to start a three-phase idler motor generator without the use of another motor. It's extremely simple, so I'm going to pull my camera closer and show you a bit about it. Come on in here, keep up with me. <coughs> Okay, so what we got going on here, let me get my camera where you can see it, there we go, now you can see the whole thing, <laughs> it's not stuck on my chair, um, on the right here is a three horsepower, three phase motor, on the left here is a one horsepower, three phase motor, okay, this right here is going to be my idler generator, this is just going to be a motor that runs on it, I have attached some tape just so you can see it there in fact working and the different effects that you're going to have. Um, on the, on kind of down here on the table, let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what we got going on. You see some four items here. This right here is my main switch. I'm just using this as a quick breaker switch to, to turn everything on and off. Okay, um, right here I'm using this as a momentary contact switch. It's actually a, uh, a, it's actually a relay, but it works as a momentary contact switch just for this video. I wouldn't do that if it was going to be permanent. This also right here is a contactor I'm going to use also as a momentary contact switch just to show you um, the two different switches so I can quickly use them. This is just a small capacitor bank I made for the starting circuit. Now how it's going to work is I'm going to turn this on. This momentary contact switch is going to put the capacitors into the circuit temporarily to start the idler motor. Then once everything's running I'll use this contactor to start the second three-phase motor. Now here's what happens when you try to start a three-phase motor without a starting circuit or another motor to start it it doesn't want to go. It'll complain the whole way through. So, um, a lot of people have amounted to putting another motor next to it and setting some pulleys to get it going, which was kind of a waste of time, and you, you end up blowing up and uh, blowing through another motor that you could use for something else to try to start your motor. So here's how we do this, okay? I'll get you a little closer. Um, instead of sitting there using another motor to start your idler generator, I'm going to use a momentary contact switch. So here's what happens. When you start up your three-phase motor, it drags, doesn't like to go. When I push the momentary contact switch, it's gone, just like that. <laughs> this is a semi-automatic circuit. Now you can use this other contactor now to start the other motor, just like that. Okay, and shut everything down. So basically, it's a momentary contact switch circuit using your capacitors as starting capacitors to start your three-phase motor generator. There is no need for another motor whatsoever. Here's how simple it really actually works. If you look down here, okay, I got my 220 coming in. Mind that it's not grounded. I'm just doing this for the video, so I get that. Okay, um, Everything comes together like you normally would for doing your three-phase idler, idler motor circuit, except that I've also input this capacitor bank through the, the third phase, right here, which goes just into the third phase of the three, which is also combined with the output to the other motor. And this, all that happens here is when I press this contactor, it puts this capacitor bank as part of this circuit now. And all I have to do is let it start this motor and let go and it's going, just like that. You can use automatic time switches for this, but if you don't want to buy an automatic time switch, um, this is a really simple method doing it, just a momentary contactor switch. So once again, here's all I had to do to start this three-phase motor on a two-phase circuit. Mind you, this is on single phase. So I go on, put the capacitor is in, it's gone to go, just like that. Start your next motor and you're set. <laughs> Don't have to mess with anything. So that's, you turn that motor down so I can actually hear myself, or you can hear me. Okay, so basically, um, that's all there really is to it, to starting a three-phase motor without the use of another motor. Just a couple capacitors and a momentary contact switch. It gets it going, and uh, you can use your other motor for something else. Alright, thank you.